How's it going on guys and girls? Welcome back to another video of Burn Aquila Painting. My name is Graham and I've got something a little bit different for you today. It is my first unboxing and what a box it is. It is the Indominus box by GW. I've been wanting my hands on this ever since they announced it about a, uh, two months ago now, was it? A month and a half ago? I've been absolutely dying to get my hands on it. So let's crack it open and have a look. Wah, there we go. So the first thing you'll see is this beautiful Blood Angels artwork. I'm not sure who the artist is, but you get two of these in here as well. One is for sure being framed and put on the wall. And look at all those beautiful bits of plastic. All right, you'll have to forgive me with some of the names. I'm not familiar with, uh, with current day Necrons at all. <laughs> I haven't had Necrons in a very long time. So you'll have to forgive me for that, but these are absolutely stunning. And I'll throw up some close-ups of the uh, individual sprues so you guys can have a look as well. So it's not just my half hands having a look through as well. But there is the, uh, is that the captain? Oop. So there's the captain with the uh, close combat sword and shield. I like that you get a base, you get the bases in the bottom as well as this this uh, base cover almost that he stands on. I think that's really cool. And next you get, ah, is the lieutenant with the Volkite pistol with the storm shield. And then you've got the, is that the warden? The Necron warden as well with that? Let me know if you know if that's the uh, Necron warden with it attached to the sprue of the uh, the lieutenant as well. And here we go, the first sprue for the bikes. Look at that. They're just so hench. I absolutely love these things. These are the very first bikes I've I ever ever owned. I've never owned a set of first born marines bikers. So I'm looking forward to getting those assembled and started. Well, we've got some more Necrons here. I think this is one of the Scorpec destroyers. And the the little circular bug looking one. On a, on a piece of ruined terrain. I'm not sure which which one that was actually called. Yeah, let me let me know in the comments if you know all the names. I don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we go, there we go. There's the Assault Intercessors with their chainsaws. These look awesome. They're a bit plain compared to the other ones, I know, but I still think these are some of the best, best looking Primaris models in the box because they are plain you can customize them how you wish as long as you're not afraid of a bit of green stuff <laughs> there's some more of the intercessors and here we go the necrons now the necrons come with two different gun options i think one's tesla and one's gorse or gauss however you like to pronounce it here comes the big sprue. Some more Necron Warriors. Here we go. You've got your heavy support choices. Uh, the Eliminators. Eradicators, that's the one. Eliminators. I'm really looking forward to doing the uh, Judicar or Judicia. And the, uh, the Chaplain Chap. Chaplain Chap. Uh, Chaplain Chap. Um, in these in this box set i really like the is it the ancient that's holding up that banner it's not a banner is it it's more like a, a like some sort of reliquary or sigil let me know what that is in the comments i don't it's not a banner is it because it's not material but it is some sort of iconography it looks awesome anyway but with the is it the, the Judicia or the Judicar? I'm just going to call them the Judicar. If, if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me for now. But uh, I'm wanting to switch his head out. I'm not liking his head, like many people have said. But I'm really not uh, liking his his head option. So it'd be really cool to see if they do do a multi-part kit down the line for him. If they do have different head options, so that'd be really cool. And the Necron Lord. And you've got that huge Necron Wraith War of the Worlds looking thing in this one as well. And you've got the Plasmancer. Oh, the Necrons just look so cool. Badass. 
So that is all the sprues you get in the box. You get an awful lot of plastic for your money. And then here comes the next, next piece of art, Blood Angels art. This one's a little bit dented from where it's been underneath the plastic for so long in the, in the box. So uh, I'm going to keep that one, but I'm not going to I'm not going to put that one in a frame. That's just going to stay in the box, I think, because it's all dented. You will have to forgive me on the uh, the audio quality. It's probably going to be a little bit naff in this video, just because I've uh, thrown it up just to uh, get a get this done. I was so excited. I I didn't want to start painting without showing you guys the uh, what's in the box as well. So I just threw a really simple audio rig up and uh, started recording. So that is the in instructions, the how to build. There's the bikes, look at them. Those eliminators are awesome. Eradicators, oh goodness me, eradicators. I have got a list of all the names next to me, but there's too many words and too much plastic to go through. <laughs> so I'm not really paying attention to it. The Edge of Silence, that's the a little bit about what's going on at the moment in the galaxy, what you get in the box, all the rules and the units. Smashing. Beautiful. Of course, your transfers for your Marines as per. This is, I like this, this is cool. Even though it's just a little bit of thing for about one of, uh, one of the books, Gav Thorn, Thorpe, sorry, my apologies, Gav. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's a sweet artwork. I like that. And here we are. Oh, the limited edition, ninth edition, limited edition, ninth edition rule book for 40k. I love this artwork with Abaddon now on the front. I did think it was a little weird that you get Necrons in the box, but on the rule book it has uh, Gilliman fighting Abaddon, fighting Chaos. I did think that was a little bit strange, but. It, it, you, you can't you can't fault the artwork. Look, it's absolutely stunning. And this is huge, like 360 pages. Got all the rules. If you want to see a uh, a video of me just flicking through, if you want to see a video of me flicking through this and uh, my thoughts on it, my thoughts on it, and that, let me know in the comments. And then obviously you get a little pull out with uh, Abaddon and Gilliman going at it and all of the all of the uh, the bases for your miniatures those ones with the bikers are huge I'm guessing that's the score pack destroyer absolutely massive I'll have a uh, I'll have all the all the close-ups and that running in in the back as well for you guys so you can see a nice close-up of all the sprues and that as well so that is everything you get in the box. Um, uh, no tears, Rod, no tears from me. <laughs> there was a, a comment, he didn't want to see me on YouTube crying because I didn't, uh, didn't manage to get one of the boxes. So uh, there you go, Rod, no tears, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, that is everything you get in the box. You get a buttload of plastic, loads of bits and bobs. They, the rule book is gorgeous. I've got to admit, this rule book is absolutely stunning. If you want to see me go through the rule book, obviously not a page by page, but uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll get that sorted out for you as well. And on top of that, I got a couple of really cool little freebies as well. I got a, a set of six, so match play size objective markers. They're really cool. So they have the, the new logo on one side and then obviously the number of the, uh, the objective on the other. It came in a, a little dice bag, which I don't actually have yet. So uh, that's going to come in handy for all my dice. And then this awesome, awesome coin with the uh, the ultramarines and then the necron logos on each side that i'm going to be using for a cracking game of heads and tails <laughs> with a little uh, little inscription so on the necron side it's got our number is legion our name is death all around the edges which is awesome and then on the ultramarines they've got the uh, the classic marine saying and they shall know no fear which is uh damn true so i'm buzzing to get painted i'm going to put all this away and start building now uh, what am i going to start building i absolutely have no clue what i'm going to start with <laughs> there's so much in this box that uh, i'm just going to uh, dip in and uh, pull one thing out and that's what i'm going to start with i think lucky dip it so uh yeah i know this is a little bit rough and ready this video but uh 
thanks for checking it out if you like what i'm doing at uh, burn aquila painting like and subscribe leave a comment if you uh, if you so wish did you get the indominus box set what do you think about new ninth edition what faction would you want to see with uh, with new minis next let me know in the comments cheers for checking this out but until next time peace